Hey everyone, welcome back to another Xano List video. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to download and install the Xano desktop wallet. So I'm actually using Windows Sandbox here to show you completely how to do it fresh. So first of all, go to Xano.org and you want to make sure that you're on this URL. You don't want to be downloading a fake Xano.org wallet. Okay, so go to Xano.org, go to the downloads page. And as I'm on Windows, I'm going to download the .exe here. Wait for this to download. And obviously, if you're on Mac OS, you choose the, the DMG file here. Or if you're on Linux, click the app image here. So once that's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open the file. Then click Next. Next. Create, all, create a desktop shortcut for all users. Install. Wait for that to be installed. There we go. And as you can see, it's on the desktop. I'm just going to click Finish and Launch Xano from here. Okay, here we go. Here's the desktop Xano wallet. Now, syncing can take a while depending on PC specs and internet speed. So basically, you'll see here downloading, and this downloads the Xano blockchain. And it takes time depending, of course, on your system specs and your internet connection. It's important to note that you must leave your computer on and the Xano wallet app open while it is completing downloading. So this must be 100% before you can actually start using the Xano wallet. But while we wait for it to download, we can actually go ahead and create a new wallet. I'm going to name this wallet Xano List Video. Then I'm going to set a wallet password. Then you want to click Select Wallet Location. So I'm just going to make a new folder called PDF. I'm going to hide it in here. Click Create Wallet. And there we go. As you can see, we have our wallet created here. And if we want to create a, a C phrase for this, we're going to have to create another password. So I'm going to get, go ahead and do that again. And click Generate Secure Seed. As you can see, this is my seed phrase. And I, what I want to do is secure this safely. And now probably one of the most common ways is to write it on a piece of paper, cut it in half and store one somewhere and one in, the, in another place. Obviously, I don't recommend doing that. There's obviously more secure ways, and I can't really discuss how to do that, but you guys can do your own research. So once you have done that, you now have a recovery of your bullet. So now we must wait for the blockchain to download before we can actually send, receive, or even register an alias on Xano Desktop. Stay tuned for the next video where I show you how to register an alias via Xano Desktop Wallet.